Hi, welcome to Bio Banshee. I'm Casey. I'm Juliet. We're playing the Stanley Parable. Yes, we're going to be in an office, as I understand it. Uh, yeah, I don't really know that much about this game. Neither of us have played this game. This is... It'll be interesting. I've heard it's really funny. I like uh, funny. We'll see. Yeah, let's just start. Begin the game. End is never the end. Is never the end is loading. <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> Sounds ominous already. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons. That on sounds key. really boring. Orders came to him through a monitoring desk, telling him what buttons to push. I guess it gave him a number. He doesn't even have a name. Order. This is what I wonder if this is supposed to be like every day, the video game every play, month, like the ga every the player. Day. And of the game, might have considered it so being told to push buttons Stanley and pushing the buttons when they're told. Oh, it's meta! Yeah. As though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. I love the narrator's voice. Yeah. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would it forever me of change an audio Stanley. Book. Something kind of. he would never quite forget. Like the, with the narrator. Yeah. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. The world has run out no of games. No one had showed up to give him <laughs> Call a The meeting, game apocalypse has occurred. Say, I'm assuming Never in all that his years that means. I don't know. Had this happened. <laughs> on the meta. This complete isolation. Level. Yeah. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came yeah. to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. I think that's our cue. Stanley has not moved in years. Oh, it's uh, 11.25. Is the clock still running? Yeah, it's got to take okay. it. It's second hand is moving. Okay, so we know time hasn't frozen. All of his co-workers were gone. Oh. What could it mean? Hey. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I guess we're Stan- Are we hint, Stanley? Hint. We're Stanley. We are Stanley. Or 427. Isn't that right? Four. Yeah, 427. A leaf. Oh, what does that I'm say? Leaf what does that say? I hate Mondays. <laughs> so I like the narrator. Odd. And I'm not liking When Stanley office came to a set of decor. two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Oh, it's trying to trick us into doing the thing that they want us to do, maybe. Maybe we want to go to the right. Maybe Stanley has a mind of his own. And yeah. He once. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, that's what we yes, want to do. truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. <laughs> but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Oh. Did we? Did he? Did he? Maybe. I don't think he did. <laughs> Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's <laughs> been five years ago. Stanley has just discovered, like, he's having an existential crisis here. He hasn't yeah. done he's anything He's used to doing what he's told, and right. now he's finally like, I ain't doing this no more. There's no computer to tell me what to do anymore. What do I do with my life? Do not jump from the cargo lift while it is in motion. Will it cause death? <laughs> oh, penalty is a thousand dollars. And I oh, jump. well, I mean, you're gonna I, die and you're gonna owe five thousand dollars. I really want to jump. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. <laughs> 
I'm not your enemy, really. I'm mm -hmm. I realize that investing in your trust <laughs> in someone else it is like Gladys. But the fact is Gladys that the story has been about nothing portal. but you yeah. all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Uh. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. For her? Uh-oh. Who's her? Stanley's... This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. Aww. She's been waiting. His pet dog. No. I wouldn't. All the doors keep closing behind us? Mm. And that works. Oh, what start? Oh. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Um, narrator? Hmm? We picked the phone up. Oh, Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. All right. Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? What? Oh, what? To commit their life to you. I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come Never inside. a jerk. Let me show you what's really going on here. Ah! It moved by itself. This is a very sad story about the death of a what? man named Stanley. We should have thrown ourselves off the Good lift. Good morning. Press M on your keyboard. No. Uh, oh, it's blocking. <laughs> it's blocking us. Uh, I Maybe guess we should have taken the door on the left. We should press M. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. That's why we took the door on the right, jerk. I'm gonna press. I'm gonna press the press Y button. Else. Oh, I didn't do anything. Click. No. You have to press U. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly <laughs> what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. Stop it. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. Well. I suppose we did choose to play this game. Yeah. But in his mind, ah. In his mind, he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. I'm guessing this fantastic is secretly very discoveries meta. Of new lands. Oh, definitely. <laughs> and each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. Why? Press X to watch the... TV. Oh, okay. Well, there's a TV. I keep looking over the statue and like I'm afraid to look away because I'm afraid it's gonna like be closer next time. Like the angels in Doctor <laughs> Who. Like Hello, look away. Stanley. And it's right in front Remember of us. Remember me, Stanley. <laughs> I'm your wife, Stanley. Stanley. There's a lot of and so things. He began to fantasize oh, about his own job. It turned into a clock. First he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. <laughs> the thought excited him terribly. <laughs> Press Y to spend time with the boys. Yeah, I want to spend time with the boys. So he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, <laughs> the narrator is retconning. What lay behind <laughs> The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. The narrator's taking control by retconning the, <laughs> the entire the, story. The story the based on what we been did. like one minute long. <laughs> As he wandered through this um, fantasy world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Oh, look at that over there. Down one path lay an enormous round the room box. with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. 
Um, what? Press Z to tell your kids a story. Okay. It was such a wonderful Weird fantasy, out. and so in his head, he relived it again, and then again, and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end, that he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. Yeah. I love but there you. is no answer. Oh. How could there possibly be? In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. The more he forgets which life is the real one. Go to sleep. And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. But that would still be following your directions. I know. We either follow the screen's directions or the narrator's directions. The narrator's kind And of if a we jerk, don't so... do it, nothing happens. Like, I guess we could choose to stop playing. That's the stop only playing the that's game. the only choice that we could make on our own is to not play the game. Otherwise, if we play the game, we have to follow the directions. It's yeah. like the point of games, almost. You have to follow the rules that the game gives you. Uh, my brain. I'm gonna press it. Press it. You see? Can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? I question nothing. Um, I question nothing. None of the other buttons do anything. Good to know. I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose. The same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time he'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again. What? And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed Please a button. Please die? And I tried. Did we die? Uh... We died! Should have jumped off that stinking, like, lift and killed ourselves. Maybe. Do you want to do it like that? Do you want to do that? You want to jump off the lift? Let's do All it. All co-workers were gone. We'll what show him. Let's Stanley show the narrator the who's boss. Room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. <sighs> Look, Stanley, I think we've got no but in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story, <laughs> and gets to tell him what to do. That's right. Stanley left from the platform and plunged to That's right. Death. We win. That's exactly Good right. Job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead and powerful. I want to follow the directions this time. Okay, okay. We will do what the stupid, mean narrator with the creepy a mannequin wind blew says. Outside and perhaps that was a very started. creepy mannequin. Did, Indeed, a creepy, moved. creepy mannequin. Stanley hoped that the mannequin he moved on its own. Her. When Stanley came to a left. set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Meeting room. Yet there was not a single person here either. Ooh, look. Feeling a wave of disbelief, do not Stanley alter decided to go up to his boss's office, manager. <laughs> hoping he might find an answer there. Synergy. <laughs> Corporate speak. <laughs> so <laughs> <Make sure>. okay. <laughs> Everyone you see, cute most of all. Number of slides on the <laughs> slide. Slides, charts, charts and slides. <laughs> That's about right. <laughs> Rate of increase it's in pretty graphs much, per yeah. slide. <laughs> There's no more charts. I'm begging. Stop. stop, 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 stop. Why did we hire you? <laughs> what are your dreams for the future, my dad? A boat. 
A boat is in my future. Clear skin, please. Pollution. Transit. My dream for the future is pollution. Mine is hope. <laughs> I could just watch those slides for like ten minutes. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his bus. I want to see office. what's in Go the downstairs, basement. man. What's in the basement? We just can't follow directions. We're gonna die like a lot. I am fond of RPGs, which, you know, one could argue that you have choice that's only an illusion. All the choices you make in games this are just true. the illusion of choice. It is. Even in an RPG with it. lots of he considered the possibility of different choices boss, you can make. Admitting he had left his post during work hours, he might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. Spilled coffee. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I <laughs> am crazy. Why are you telling All me I'm crazy? All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. Uh, and as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange uh, observations. This is the same. For example, it's an why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? <laughs> Why did doors <laughs> close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Yeah. Were they simply repeating? <laughs> no, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This Whoa. can't be real. And at Eleven, last, he came the to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming! <laughs> this is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, I think an we're explanation. Toward death. His I think so. Weren't actually Again, gone. a long-winded death. Job, he wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying and began to gently float what? above the ground. Are we Whoa, we're floating! Is it fun? He imagined himself yeah. soaring through space on a magical star field. Oh, and it yeah! Took off. Oh. It was so much fun. <laughs> yeah. And Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? Oh, hey. And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head <laughs> dictating everything that I'm doing? I'm gonna, thinking? I'm gonna be honest. I now did this. The voice was describing itself. <laughs> you have a narrator for your <laughs> sometimes. Is it sometimes. your own voice or yeah. is it someone yeah. else? No, 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 no. <laughs> it's my voice. It's like thinking Scrubs. How you know? It's describing my thoughts. He thought. He <laughs> thought it all very odd and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams. The truth was that, of course, this See, was not. See, this a is dream. not Stanley's how could voice. It be? Was Stanley this simply is a narrator himself, telling him believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Dictate Stanley is what the as narrator awake saying. right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a <laughs> moment ago? How else yeah. would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. That this was a dream. You're gonna take this to the So he closed his extreme. eyes gently. Oh. And he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin. The press of the mattress on his back. Kay. The fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up. He thought to himself, I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. So we're not gonna My die? life is normal. I am normal. Hmm. Everything will be fine. Yeah. No. I am okay. Where's that shoe? Waiting for the other shoe to drop. Nope. Stanley began screaming. <laughs> oh, please, someone wake me up.
up. My name is Stanley. <laughs> I have a boss. I have an office. <laughs> I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must oh. be real. Oh. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Oh, Who she's am having I? a connection. Oh. And everything went black. Oh, oh my. That he was just, interesting. He had a this is the story breakout. of a woman named Mariella. <gasps> oh. We get to be a woman? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. What? But on this particular day, her walk was what? interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, okay. for just a few that Stanley? moments, she considered yeah. the strange man. He went crazy! He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look oh, like. Oh, hey now. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. <laughs> I'm so much normaler than I you. am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what oh, isn't. Oh, we're going into the recursive it loop again. It to think this. And in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. <laughs> then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career. And by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this. So uh, it was only a moment that she stood there. I'm just going to stare at this body and, uh, body. <laughs> I'm sorry, and but. she turned and ran. <laughs> I got places to be. Sorry, dude. <laughs> <laughs> You crazy, I'm out of here. <laughs> He's dead. She looked at a dead body and ran. So did he have like, he did he crazy. have an aneurysm? Is that what happened? Like, I think so. He was having a stroke and he had, he was having visions because his, the visual cortex of his brain was all messing up and he was having a stroke and then he had an aneurysm and died. Yeah. That's why he saw red. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. <laughs> And Stanley then decided to go to the meeting just, room. Perhaps he had she simply saw missed a, memo. a dead guy on the street, assumed he was crazy, and then ran the other way because she has important business stuff going on. I feel like that's Maybe kind of how me. people are sometimes. <laughs> like they see yes. things that they could help with and choose not to because she ran. Because it's not convenient. When Stanley I came guess. to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Let's go. Let's go to. Let's go this, this way, the and then we'll take the open door. Room, and Stanley knew not it perfectly well. Lessons. Perhaps he wanted the to stop by the But see, yeah. it's like <laughs> it's like the narrator said earlier. We have to the keep doing it smile. and go all the different ways that we can to see what happens, right? That called so deep, but eager to get back. Even the narrator said that we have to do that. Door on his left. Door on the left. And so he detoured the basement section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on. Oh, track. oh that's rather I'm really interesting. tempted. Let's do it. Yeah. Take that narrator. You can't tell me what to do. Oh. Oh. But still, oh. he was down. To the oh. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now, in order to get back, he needed to go, um, uh, 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 it's clearly... Oh dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? <laughs> he doesn't even know what we're doing. He's uh, uh, rustling through his down, script. Right, left, down, left, right. Yep, yep. Okay, okay. We've okay. been off yes. script. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this story. No. Oh, uh, I feel like we're going to get run over. Maybe? Oh, well, look, there's a doorway. That's a nice sound. Oh. No, 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 Ooh, no, no, what's no, this? no, this isn't right at all. Ooh. You're not supposed to be here yet. This Ooh. is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, is... close your oh, eyes. Oh, it's... Okay, 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 okay. We just... We just Fired. Back to, um... Oh, who am I Fired? kidding? Where? It's Over there? rubbish now. The whole oh. story completely unusable. How about rather than Cameras waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, 
We'll just restart the game from the beginning. <laughs> this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay. From the top. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> nice. That was like the control room. They tell us where to go from there, maybe? Maybe. The I don't know. It had like all the different employees. Yeah. I bet they're all doing the same thing. It's One like of all them the had gamers. fired. Yeah. I think fired means dead. Perhaps so. When Stanley- Wait. Wait, what? What? No, I- No, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted. <laughs> the room, completely fresh. Everything should be- Oh, did something change? <gasps> Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the mm. monitors? Did you move the story somewhere or- uh... Hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. <laughs> was right here just a minute ago. We changed I'm the game. I'm sure that it's here somewhere. Did we? We beat the na narrator somehow. It's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Let's find Ooh. the story. Ooh, Look this is the... fun. Oh. Let's find the story. We messed it up. We broke it. We broke it. Because we saw the control room. Yeah. This is like the Matrix. A bit. A bit. It's like... It's a maze. We're in the labyrinth. Governing moment. David David Bowie's gonna be jumping out. Here's the room. I'll say it. This is the worst adventure. <laughs> I've ever I can promise you, there definitely was a story here before. <laughs> do we just? Do we need to restart the game again? No, don't do it. Don't do it. Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again. But it's got to be better than this. No. Okay, let's no, give it a you... shot. Why not? Quit. Oh. I think there's like a time limit. We have to find some way to keep going. Okay. No yeah, doors. It's worse. <laughs> it's worse. There's no doors it's at all. The story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? I mean, I guess that's all we can do. Maybe there's something on a computer. That one's on. Username. Access. Access. Uh. Okay, I guess we gotta start pushing stuff and pulling drawers and stuff. Yeah. Aha! I knew we'd miss something. Uh, the story. The story. Here it comes. Mm. I don't like the story Wait, coming at me. Never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back <sighs> the other way and retrace our steps. <laughs> oh my goodness. This Although this room so is weird. a little bit nicer. At least. <laughs> what? Ooh. Now this. Well, I'll be honest. I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? <laughs> is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It, is that correct? Mm. Oh my goodness. Do you remember Stanley? He's incompetent. Who do you know what? A jerk. Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! Yay! Congratulations! We won the game, it's over! <laughs> putting in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off. So, good job. Um, you're not gonna kill us off, oh, are you? No, no, I don't feel right about this at all. <laughs> we both we know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Oh. No, we Some didn't. people win fair We're and just square, wandering around. And this was not one of those situations. Okay, I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time. Crack house? I have to restart. <laughs> Crack house. <laughs> well, that would explain a few things. <laughs> oh! There's a line on the floor! No. All right. <laughs> this time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Just follow the line. How simple is that? You see? The line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Mm. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Though, here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Yes, or it would. Or in another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply hmm. by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? So. Okay, Stanley, I need to follow this train of thought for a minute. Just stick with like me. It's like Schrodinger's journey. Now we can both journey? agree that the nature of the existence <laughs> is a journey. product 
of one subjective experience of that Is a journey still right? a journey if it's not okay. going anywhere? Now, if my experience of your existence rests inside of your subjective experience of this office... <laughs> I'm, just, I'm being asked to think about philosophy in this experiential game. Mental subjective I think concept. it is. I mean... Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. A destination doesn't have to be there? intentional to well, be I a destination. To it can be so unintentional. So no. a journey has I a destination. Right now is a bit of music no matter whether or not you meant it to. Whoa! Music! <laughs> I'm gonna go this way. Is that really lightening the mood? Oh! It's kind of hilarious though. Oh, we just went in a circle? It went under the I'm wall! <laughs> Dr. Seuss story now. I'm starting to believe the Stanley lost his mind hypothesis. Oh yeah, definitely. Just cause, I mean, well, you work at a job like this. Yeah, you either... lose your mind when you work for the man for too long. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're either, you're either your soul will die or you'll lose your mind. Cut the music, go back, and look at that fern. <laughs> Okay, Mr. I want to look at the fern. This fern will be very important uh -huh. later in the story. I don't Make you. sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. Does this mean we're going to have to, like, compare it to other ferns that look almost exactly alike? Uh -huh. <laughs> Maybe Wait, it'll what? catch on fire. We're back at the office? No. 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 Line. You do know we're looking for the story <laughs> parable. TM. Right? The story? <laughs> Is any of this ringing a bell? I like how the line is trademarked. <laughs> line? You're getting it all wrong. There we go. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. no yeah. Line. How could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you. <laughs> everything we've been through, you... Oh, I can't take this anymore to hell with it. See, there's it. the Restart. fired guy. Maybe someone escaped. Oh, yeah, and they were fired. Maybe we have to like do some like look you at know, the what, Stanley, I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? Uh, We're intelligent people, right? Why can't are we, we? Make our <laughs> own story? Something exciting, daring, mysterious. Let's Ooh, set the ferns on sounds fire. Perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in well, I don't know. How about this direction? Are we in? Are we like now, partners with yes, the narrator this now? This is exciting. Just or is me it, and Stanley is he forging us? a new path, think, a new story. Well, it could be anything. I don't think he's We're really going in a circle. Side. We're going in a circle. Wild, I mean, a square. Use your imagination. Uh, Whatever it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. He's like, it's like he's pretending to be our friend. Yeah. Oh no, not you again. Yes. It, the line is through. really helpless. Like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it. I trust Mission the line more than the narrator, I think. Oh, uh, yeah. Line? I'm liking the line's personality. Oh, yeah, I like it. It's cool. It's fun. Line has, like, some real... <laughs> <laughs> I like it. See, line is great. Where did line go? Oh, okay. Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. How <laughs> or is it? We mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute it to think It brings back the, uh, the notion of choice in video Stop. games. Okay. Is it a so is is choice and illusion in video games? Somewhere, which means that somewhere, the place you where we're walk trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. And that, in turn, means that our destination oh. <laughs> corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our <laughs> destiny awaits. Oh, we don't have a choice. Cause how is it oh. that talked about the confusion ending? Oh, hold up, what's this? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, are these the all the endings? Oh. You're telling me 
That's what this is. The confusion. It's all one giant ending. Six and we're supposed start. to restart the game eight eight times? After a long time, Stanley dies. That's really how all this goes? Get bored and leave. It's all determined. So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what Adventure if I don't want to forget? Nonsense philosophy and music. Goes blank simply because it's written here on this this thing wall. We're on the confusion well, ending right now. Who consulted me? What's over I there? The sixth ending. Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really? Yeah. No, it can't Not be so like... fun when you don't I get don't to decide, it to is it, narrator? I don't want the game <laughs> to keep restarting. I don't want to forget what's going on. Replica. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. Now he knows where we're coming from. And Whoa! Stopped? Whoa. Does that mean... Um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The, um... Whatever it is that made this schedule. Maybe the narrator will help us. How do we even out. know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? So, okay. Okay. I guess now we just wait. You know, I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story. Wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime... Oh! Oh! What did we do? We killed it!